Over mail-in ballots in Texas is far from over right now. It's just three weeks to go until Election Day. Some members of Congress are fighting Governor Abbott's mandate for one drop-off location in each county. Yeah, Channel 2's Taisha Walker is at NRG, where voters in Harris County can drop off their mail-in ballots. Taisha, we understand that several Congress members have gone straight to the Attorney General William Barr now on this issue. Dozens and the hope, according to Congresswoman Sheila Jackson Lee, is that that number will double. We know that this legal battle started all because someone filed a lawsuit to change the governor's mandate. The state then decided to fight back. And yesterday we learned that a high court sided with the governor. It's a small victory for Texas Governor Greg Abbott. Sunday, an appeals court temporarily sided with the governor, allowing mail-in ballots be restricted to one drop-off site in each county. In a tweet, Governor Abbott says, quote, critics falsely claim that my order limited voting. To the contrary, it expanded voting by adding more days. Texas law has always allowed one county location for mail-in ballots. We're asking the Fifth Circuit uh, to uh, make the judgment uh, that the lower court's decision to remove those restrictions that the governor has put in place be lifted. But critics like and Texas Congresswoman Sheila Jackson Lee says it's discriminatory and aims to suppress votes. Can you imagine uh, someone that is disabled or someone uh, that uh, is uh, a senior citizen or unable to travel distance or unable to get um, any kind of transportation but has a clerk's office near to them. Congresswoman Sheila Jackson Lee is calling on members of Congress to sign this letter to get the attention of Attorney General William Barr. So far, she says, it has more than 50 signatures. With Election Day three weeks away, absentee ballots that aren't mailed must be dropped off at the single drop-off site in each county unless the appeals court rules otherwise. And we want to remind you that in order to do absentee uh, ballot voting, you do not have to go to a drop-off site like the one behind me at NRG. That's not mandatory. You can mail your ballot yourself by either going to your local post office or dropping it in the mail. Just a reminder that it has to have at least a dollar ten postage on it. Reporting live from NRG, Taisha Walker, KPRC, Channel 2 News. All right, Taisha, thanks.